It was a normal Monday, as much as it can be, um, except that I was actually going to class. Um, <laughs> the bullets missed all my organs, but they did have to remove part of my kidney, um, part of my gallbladder, part of my large intestine, or part of my small intestine. So basically, I'm on a bypass <laughs> for the rest of my life. Um, I can't get that. So, I mean, people always, those questions on the first page are things that I often got um, from various individuals. People say, well, were you there? Did you know anyone? It's, actually, it's like, yes, I have a lot to tell you. It's always shocking. Um, but you will go through something in your life. Um, for, you know, whether it be a fire or an estate planning situation, there's always some marking moment where you're going to go through certain things and then you're shaping your outcome and your, and your future. So what I went through personally, number one, was I questioned everything. What ifs? What if I didn't go to class? What if this happened? What if that happened? And that took over about six months of my life. Because I thought, well, we almost went to breakfast. How could things be different? What that is is control. You're trying to like, you know, regain it back. The minute I realized that I didn't have control was the mark. The fact that I realized that that day, it just wasn't in my hands. It was a snowy Monday. Our class was about 9 o'clock, 9.30, and so I remember waking up and seeing the flurries outside, so I started thinking, okay, time to get dressed and get to class, and a friend of mine picked me up and took us in, and we were already late, of course. People are just kind of talking about the weekend and plans. Teacher hands us a worksheet. After about 20 minutes, you started hearing loud bangs and loud pops. So at first, you didn't really think much of it. And then it got closer and closer and faster and faster. Our professor kind of peeped out. She's a very calm woman, but her face kind of got this alarmed look. She closed the door, said, call 911. What is the purpose of your visit to Finland? We're really excited to be here. We really wanted to come and kind of share our story because we all experience such unique experiences, but there's a common thread, and we wanted to come and send our condolences and our lessons learned to kind of see what together we could do through these tragic events. That day changed our lives forever, so we definitely carry it every day. And um, I think after a while, the important thing has been to take the positive out of it and see what can be made from that rather than focus on the negative and kind of continue forward in a positive manner. Our mission is to promote peace and nonviolence in schools. I thought after this, all this happened, people wanted to hear so much about our experience and our tragedy that I thought if we could share our message and do you know, community workshops, student orientations to kind of increase safety awareness and help even one student avoid some kind of violence, then it would be positive and helpful.